Okay, are you ready for this? I'm ready, are you? I think so. Let's dive deep. Deep dive time. Into personal branding. Okay. But not just personal branding. Right. We're going to add in some AI magic. Oh, the AI magic everybody's talking about these days. Exactly. It's everywhere you look. It is. So we've got transcripts right here. Okay. From AI Answers. I've heard of them. They have this whole strategy yeah. laid out. Plus... Right? We've got insights from entrepreneur Guillaume Mubesh. Yeah, okay, yeah, he's interesting. And he's actually using these tactics to build his brand. So we're going from theory to practice today. Exactly. We are going to give you concrete tools oh, right. and strategies right. that you can use. Practical today. I like it. To make your brand stand out. That's what we want. Who doesn't want to stand out? So right out the gate, both of our sources. Okay. Okay emphasize this idea of a niche. A niche, yeah. Have you heard this saying? What's that? If you're talking to everyone, you're talking to no one. Oh yeah, for sure. That's huge in personal branding. It's true, you really gotta know who you're talking to. And these AI answers videos? Yeah. They really hammer that home. They don't mess around. They don't mess around. All right. In fact, they have a whole formula for a brand statement. Oh, I like formulas. I think you'll find this super useful. Hit me with it. Start with, I am your name. Okay, makes sense. Simple. Yeah. And I help your target audience. All right, so far so good. By, and this is important, how you solve their problem. That's key. Identifying and solving a problem for your audience. That is like tuning into the right frequency. You got to find your people. Yes. Yeah. It's how you get your ideal audience to actually sit up and listen. So true. No one wants to hear you ramble on about nothing. And speaking of listening. Okay. AI can actually give you superpowers. Superpowers. Now you're talking my language. In understanding your audience. Whoa. Hold on, superpowers. I need details. Think about tools like Sprout Social. Okay. Or even just digging into your Google Analytics. Right. Good old Google Analytics. These platforms can give you incredibly detailed insights. That's what I want. Details. Into who's engaging with your content. I'm listening. This is good. We're talking demographics. Okay. Interests, even what kind of content makes them click that follow button. So you're telling me I can use AI to peek behind the curtain and figure out exactly what my audience wants to see. It's pretty amazing. That's kind of amazing. And a little bit big brother, right? Yeah, it is definitely a fine line. Yeah. But used ethically. Ethically, yes. This information helps you tailor your message and your content. That makes sense. To resonate more deeply with your people. Okay, so it's about giving them more of what they love, which builds trust and loyalty. Yes, exactly. And speaking of content... Because we all know that is the name of the game. Content is king, or so they say. This is where AI gets really exciting. All right, let's talk content and AI. Because who has time to turn out? Yeah. Blog posts, social media updates, and those snazzy videos. So true. It's exhausting just thinking about it. Everyone's watching these days. I know I don't. I don't have time for all that. Right. That's where AI steps in. Okay. Not to replace your creativity. It's good. But to be your super efficient sidekick. I like a good sidekick. Imagine feeding your rough ideas into a tool like Jasper. Jasper. Okay. And having it help you polish them into a full-blown blog post. So it's like having an editor on demand. Yes, That's exactly. Crazy. Or taking that blog post and using Lumen5 to transform and it. And Lumen5. Into an engaging video perfect for platforms like... Let me guess. LinkedIn, man. LinkedIn, yes. Everyone's talking about LinkedIn these days. Speaking of LinkedIn... Okay, let's go there. Let's talk about Guillaume Mubesh. Let's do it. This guy has cracked the code All right. on using LinkedIn to build a personal brand. He's killing it on LinkedIn. And he is sharing all his secrets. The secrets? I love it. And one of his biggest takeaways. All right, what's the takeaway? Your LinkedIn profile isn't just a resume. It's not. It's a lead magnet. Hold up a lead magnet. What does that even mean? Good question. I'm full of them today. A lead magnet is something that attracts people who are already interested in what you offer. Okay. And turns them into potential clients or collaborators. I'm starting to see where you're going with this. Think of it like a powerful first impression. Got it. That makes people want to learn more. Makes sense. So it's not just about having a professional headshot. Definitely not. You need more than a good photo to stand out on LinkedIn these days. Exactly. Guillaume gives a step-by-step -step process. Oh, nice. A process? For optimizing your profile. Love it. For example, he talks about how your bio should be like a tagline. Okay, so short and sweet. That instantly hooks people in. I like it. So no long-winded paragraphs about your life story. No. Okay. And how your about section should be written in a more casual, conversational tone. 
So, like, you're talking to a friend at a coffee shop. Exactly. That makes sense. Which totally makes sense. It does, because people connect with authenticity, not stuffy corporate jargon. Exactly. And Guillaume emphasizes the importance of sharing your journey. Okay, your journey, like what you've learned and experienced. The skills you've learned. Okay. The challenges you've overcome, even the things you're passionate about. So it's about being relatable, not just trying to sound impressive. It's about being relatable. Right, I can get behind that. He even has this really cool exercise called the two-year test. The two-year test? I've never heard of that. That can help you pinpoint your brand's focus. Interesting, tell me more. Have you heard about this? Fill me in. I'm all about finding my focus. Okay, so the two-year test. Yeah, break it down for me. It's all about reflecting on the past two years of your life. Okay, two years, got it. What skills have you developed? Okay. What challenges did you face head-on? Right, we all have those. And most importantly, what gets you fired up? What I'm passionate about, yeah. What are you truly passionate about? Passion is key. I love this test. Okay. Because it's not about being an expert on day one. Right. Everyone starts somewhere. It's about recognizing your own growth. Okay. And letting that guide your brand. Yeah, because people connect with that, right? The realness. They connect with that realness. Yeah, they don't want to see some phony expert who's got it all figured out. Exactly. So then what? So you do the two-year test. You figure out what your brand is. So once you have that clarity. Okay. Guillaume says LinkedIn becomes all about strategic engagement. Strategic engagement. Okay, so not just posting whatever, whenever. Exactly. He's not just posting randomly. Right. He's spending time commenting on other people's content, especially in his niche. Ah, so he's building relationships. Exactly. Not just shouting into the void. I like it. Yes, but how do you find the time for all that engagement? That's what I want to know. Between crafting the perfect profile right. and churning out content, it's a lot of... Between crafting the perfect LinkedIn profile yeah. and churning out amazing content, yeah. it feels like a full-time job already. It does. And that's where AI swoops in to save the day. AI to the rescue again. Again. Yeah. We're talking about AI-powered engagement strategies okay. that can seriously lighten your load. That's what I need in my life. Without sacrificing that personal touch. Okay, now you're talking my language. All right. Tell me more about these magical AI strategies. Well, imagine having AI chatbots on your team. Okay. Like having a 247 crew. Wow, okay. Responding to messages and comments across all your platforms. Hold on, so even when I'm asleep, my brand can still be out there building relationships. You got it. Wow, that's amazing. Tools like Mobile Monkey, Mobile Monkey. and Drift make this possible. Drift, got it. They're designed to make your audience feel seen and heard. Which, let's face it, is crucial for building trust and loyalty these days. Yes, it is crucial for building trust and loyalty. People want to feel like they're talking to a human, not a robot. It's like having a whole team of right. virtual assistants working tirelessly behind the scenes. I like it. Virtual assistants, tireless. And that's not all. There's more. Remember how we talked about personalization? Yeah. Making people feel like you're speaking directly to them? Yes. It's all about that personal touch. AI takes that to a whole new level. A whole new level, okay. Especially with email campaigns. Email. Okay. But before we dive into email, okay. can we just acknowledge how mind-blowing this is? I know, right? It's like we're living in the future. A few years ago, this would have sounded like something out of a sci-fi movie. I know. And now it's just like reality. It's wild. It is a wild time to be building a brand. It is. It is. But back to email. Okay, let's talk email. Remember those generic new blog post blasts we all get? Oh, yeah. Those are the worst. I get so many of them. Right. They're so impersonal. Yeah, they are. AI helps you ditch those <laughs> and create hyper-targeted campaigns that feel incredibly personal. So instead of sending the same email to my entire list, I can use AI to tailor messages based on people's specific interests. You got it. Okay, now we're talking. Let's say someone subscribed to your list because they love your photography tips. Okay, photography tips. But you notice they always click on links about wildlife photography. Okay, so they're really into wildlife. An AI-powered tool can pick up on that. That's amazing. And send them targeted emails with even more of what they love. More wildlife stuff. I love it. Like exclusive wildlife photography tips. Okay. Resources. Maybe even workshops. So AI is like a matchmaker. Yeah. For connecting people with the content they crave. That's a really good way to put it. But, and you know, there's always a but. What's the but? Doesn't this all feel a little, I don't know, creepy? I get it. It's a fine line. I feel it too. Yeah. We've all seen those eerily accurate targeted ads. Oh, all the time. It's like, how do they know that about me? Exactly. Hmm. But this isn't about being invasive or manipulative. Okay, go. It's about 
using data responsibly okay. to provide genuine value. So being helpful. Yes. Not big brother. Not big brother. Good way to put it. So we've talked chatbots. We've talked email. What other AI-powered engagement tricks are up your sleeve? Let's talk recommendations. Recommendations. Okay, like Amazon suggesting products. Exactly like that. Okay, but I don't sell products on my website yet. Think beyond just products. Uh, okay. You can use AI to recommend relevant blog posts, okay. videos, even other creators in your niche. So it's all about keeping people engaged with my brand by offering them more valuable content. Yes. Okay, that makes sense. That aligns with their interest. So like if someone's on my website reading a blog post about productivity hacks, the AI could suggest other posts on that topic. Yes. Maybe even a free downloadable resource. Yeah, exactly. Like a checklist or a template or something. You got it. And more data AI has about your audience's preferences. Right. The more those recommendations will resonate. So it's like having a mind reading assistant. Yes. Who anticipates your audience's needs before they even know they have them. Yes. That is... Seriously, next level. It's a lot. This is a lot. It's... I'm feeling both incredibly excited yeah. and slightly terrified. Oh, tell me about it. It's a lot of responsibility. It's like stepping into the future, like we said. It is. It definitely is. Wow. And we haven't even touched on AI's role in customer support yet. Wait, customer support? Yes. But I'm a one-person show, you know? I can barely keep up with my inbox, as is. So back to my overflowing inbox. You're telling me AI can help with customer support, too. It can. Think about it. How much time do you spend answering the same questions again and again? Oh, too much. Way too much. Right. Like maybe it's about your return policy uh -huh. or where to find a specific resource on your website. Yep. I get this a lot. Yeah, I can totally handle that. Really? Yeah. Free you up for the more fun stuff. Stuff that only a human can do, right? Okay. So instead of me like chained to my inbox, right. an AI chatbot could be the first line of defense. Exactly. Answering those common questions, pointing people in the right direction. Yep. Tools like Zendesk, Freshdesk, they're built for this. Okay. They use AI to automate those basic support tasks. So it's not replacing humans, it's just taking care of the repetitive stuff. Yeah, it's like having, you know, a really efficient assistant who can handle the first wave of inquiries. Okay, like that about that. And then if it's something more complex, right. it'll make sure it gets in front of the right person, which might be you. Right, but at least it'll be pre-sorted. Exactly. This is amazing. It's like having a whole team. I know, right. Dedicated to my audience. It's pretty powerful. But there's always a but. Well, you still got to know what people are saying about you out there. Oh, right. Like, that's where social listening comes in. Okay, social listening. So that's what, like, digital eavesdropping. Kind of, but not in a creepy way. Okay, good. Think of it like you're at this massive virtual conference. Okay. And everyone's talking about your brand and your industry. You want to know what they're saying. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Exactly. What are they excited about? What are they, you know, not so thrilled about? Okay. That makes sense. But how does AI help me navigate that? Well, imagine trying to track every single mention of your brand. Oh, impossible. Across all the platforms. Yeah, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, forget about it. Blogs, forums, news sites. No way. It'd be impossible for a human. Right, I'd never sleep. Exactly. But AI can analyze insane amounts of data. Okay. And in real time. Oh. So it gives you this clear picture of what's being said and where. So instead of me spending hours on Twitter, like desperately searching my brand name, yeah. an AI can just tell me. Exactly, and it gets better. Oh, there's more. AI can analyze sentiment. Sentiment. So it can tell if people are feeling positive, negative, or neutral about your brand or your product or whatever. So if I see like a sudden spike in negative sentiment, maybe I launched a new project, I can jump on that right away. Exactly, damage control. Before it becomes a five alarm fire. Yes, it's all about being proactive and showing your audience that you're really listening. We've covered so much ground. I know, right? AI-powered personal branding. It's a lot. It is a lot, but it's exciting. It is exciting. It's like all these tools at our fingertips that we never had before. I feel like our listener needs a minute to process all of this. I think so. Grab a notebook, grab a pen. Because AI is transforming personal branding like lightning speed. So much faster than we can even keep up with sometimes. So, listener, if you're out there feeling inspired... Yeah, don't feel overwhelmed. You don't have to do everything at once. Pick one thing. Pick one thing. Experiment. With. Maybe try out one of these tools that we talked about. Yeah, maybe give the two-year test a try, see what comes up. Because at the end of the day, AI is a tool. That's it, a tool. We get to choose how to use it. 100%. All right, that is AI-powered personal branding. That's a wrap. Until next time, happy branding.